Here is Bear again. He is a 125 pound Rottweiler Labrador Retriever mix with a little bit of Mastiff in there as well. And he is about three years old. And um, this is my friend's carrier straight cool central air conditioner. The last video I have of this unit, I mean, I made one video in 2010, but the only other one I have left is from 2009. But yeah, this is my friend's 2008 Carrier Straight Cool Air Conditioner. R22 refrigerant, Copeland scroll compressor. Uh, I'm not sure how many nominal tons it is. The house is like 3,500 square feet. And um, it only has central air on the second floor. House was built in 1969. Did not originally have central air. And uh, my friend's parents didn't think they needed central air for the, sec the first floor. So they only put it on the second floor. And there's just a really big window unit for the first floor. And this is a... You know what, I can't really tell. I think it's a 2.5 ton, but I don't know for sure. Does it have R22? Factory charge. Strangely enough, it doesn't say what kind of refrigerant, but I assume it's R22. Lines actually aren't that cold. But I don't know how long ago my friend turned it on. There is the window unit for the first floor. Sharp. I finished that already. Want to go back inside? And this house has gas, hot water, baseboard heat with the original 1969 boiler. American Standard Boiler located in the basement. And there is the window. And the new kitchen. There. Yeah, this is the new kitchen, a photo mashup of which will be up on YouTube, hopefully by uh, tonight. New GE Cafe gas stove. Don't know why that, that um, burner sparks whenever I light any of the other burners. GE Cafe Microwave, GE Cafe dish Dishwasher, don't know what brand the sink is. There. Hey Bear.
I think that noise is bothering him. That noise, um, whatever that was. Why are you licking my leg? It is almost 90 degrees today. There is the swimming pool. Non-heated, but I've been in it before. Um, a heater really isn't needed. There is all the pool filter stuff right there. I think the pool was put in in like 1999. My friend's parents bought the house in 1989. And the air handler is located up in the attic. And the thermostat is upstairs. The heat and the AC are separate from each other, so they have separate thermostats. Neighbor's train heat pump over there. It replaced a carrier round one. And um, I'm pretty sure all of the houses in this neighborhood have public gas heat, so um, I guess that's either it's a heat pump that's separate from the gas baseboard heat, um, or it is they ripped out the baseboard heat and put in forced air gas heat with a hybrid heat system. Or it's one of those things where the gas hot water heat is tied in with the heat pump, like at my grandma's house. This was manufactured in 12th week of 2008. So thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, out. And I almost forgot, here is an up close look at the um, window unit. And I don't know if that's R22 or R410A. Pretty sure it's R22.
look how to have a special outlet put in for the air conditioner. Special outlet? No. Yeah, look how it's only just a, Oh, um, yeah, maybe for that, yeah. This is the home's original American Standard gas boiler from 1969. And how many times has the basement flooded? How far above the furnace does it go, or the boiler does it go? It was like up to here, or something. And it still runs like a top. Yeah, they don't make them like the east. Yeah, I remember your mom said after almost everyone's basement flooded in that storm a year or so ago, yeah. um, there were a lot of houses that had like the furnaces, the furnaces but it had been damaged in the flood floodings, yeah. and people were leaving their furnace, every house practically had a furnace yeah. sitting out in front waiting for the garbage truck to come. Yeah. Yeah. My guess would be that they had their furnaces replaced. And this thing is able to keep the house comfortable with the thermostat set in the low 60s. There's all the copper piping that goes to the baseboards I showed you earlier. There is the water heater. Whirlpool gas water heater. Um, how many gallons is it? 50 gallon water heater. don't know how many BTUs this thing is. But the house is 3,500 square feet. There is the record player from the video that I made almost two years ago. Let's get a light on. It's being used as a stand for the... I don't know where the freaking lights are in this place. It's currently being used as a stand for the TV. There we go. That is the record player from the past video, from the other video. Everything works on it except, go figure, the record player. My friend paid like two dollars for it. So again, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, out, and there's actually more to see, I will be back. Another neat little feature of the new kitchen in my friend's house, um, again these are all GE Cafe appliances, it has this vent. Convection oven. There again. There. Air conditioner.
and the AC is located right below this window. All right. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Out. This has been a Stamped Octagon production.